Hello again, this is Jennifer Forbes of Forbes Fabulous Fingers coming to you again to show you uh, one more thing you can do with your Jamberry nails. Today we're actually going to be using just Jamberries as they come in the package, but I wanted to talk to you about a specific category that we have. We do have a French tip section. However, when uh, some people go to our website and look at our French tips, they're a little perplexed by the options that they're given. We have customizable uh, French tips that come in short, medium, and long. And that, and that can confuse a lot of people uh, when they're getting ready to order because they don't know what size they should be wearing and uh, how they should be applying them as well. Uh, there are a couple of reasons I don't carry French tips in my kit. Uh, the first is because they're so customizable, uh, I run into the problem that if someone likes the tip that I'm carrying but I don't have it in their length, they might be a little bit set back by uh, the fact that they're going to have to order something that I already have in my inventory and I don't really want to order all three sizes of every single French tip. Um, and uh, the other reason is they look a little odd. Um, I'm going to be using Coral Tigris, which yet again is retired and I promise I'm going to stop using retired uh, shields fairly soon, um, I think after my diagonal manicure. But if you look at them, you'll notice that they look different from other Jamberry Shields, and that's because they do do a French tip design. And a lot of people who are not familiar with Jamberry are looking at this design and saying, well, that doesn't look like anything I ever want on my nail. And I really want to focus on you know, just getting people to understand how the shields work before they order them. If they order one at a party, I will order them the correct length and they get what they want and that's excellent. Uh, but I don't want to be carrying something in in my book that makes people confused. Uh, the third reason is that they actually used to look different than this. Uh, they used to start with the small and kind of uh, do two smalls and two and then they go up until they did two larges and uh, that was also confusing to some people because uh, it looked different than our um, our other shields did. Uh, now our, our Jamberry uh, French tips are really cool because out of the 13 that we have currently, only four of them don't have clear bases. And that means that uh, with those other nine, you can create different manicures by layering those on top of others. I've seen some really cool uh, Jamicures where people have taken the black tip and layered it over the gold sparkle. I've seen, uh, so I saw one last week where someone took the zebra tip and layered it over the teal sparkle, which I would have never thought of. Uh, it means that you can combine them in all of these endless different ways that give you a completely different look. For example, you could take your black tip and layer it over the fire engine for your Halloween manicure or vice versa. You could do the fire engine tip over the darkest black, which now that I've thought of it is officially my Halloween Jamicure this year, unless I have a better idea. Um, so that, that allows you to do a lot of different things. Um, so I wanted to talk about how they work and then um, I wanted to uh, just show you how they're applied because they look so different from what we're used to. Now in the, in the catalog on um, page 15, you can actually see a chart where you can measure what length of nail you'll need. Now this chart can be really confusing if you're not sitting there with your consultant, so I wanted to show you how it works. You take, uh, you take your um, thumb and put it on that little circle that's sitting right there, and uh, you look at the base of the cuticle up to where your quick ends, in other words, where your white begins, and that's going to be what length of of a uh, Jamberry French tip you need. See, our French tips don't actually measure the length of our nail, they measure the length of the, our nail base. So instead of uh, worrying about, well, I have really short nails, so I need shorts, you actually might end up with something that doesn't look as good on your nails as it might on uh, if you had gotten mediums or longs because you have a longer nail bed. Now I, again have freakishly short nails that are freakishly short in all ways because I have short nail beds as well as short nails. So I'll be using uh, the short French tips today. 
For those of you who don't have a catalog, you can either contact me and ask me for one, or uh, alternatively, you can go to my website, and if you click the catalog button, you will download a PDF of our entire current catalog, and it will have that page in it. Uh, the third option is I have a link to my blog, and uh, on that blog post, I will have a correctly scaled uh, pick scan of that page so that you can download it and print it if you'd like. Uh, if you're scientific like me, you want to know numbers. And I did want to know the numbers just so I could see what the real difference was. So I actually uh, took some time and I measured my uh, my catalog to see what the difference was between the short, the mediums, and the longs. And this is what I found out. Uh, just so you know, yes, I'm, I'm actually American living in Canada, which means I am fluent in both the metric and imperial systems. I'm using metric today because it's way easier to measure things in millimeters than it is eighths and tenths and sixteenths of an inch. Uh, I much prefer millimeters to uh, measuring things in inches. So, you know, just flip your ruler over and figure it out. Um, for your thumb, uh, the short length is about 10 millimeters or one centimeter. Uh, your medium length will be 11 millimeters and your long will be 14 millimeters. So that means the base from the distance from here to here is 10 millimeters on me, so I'll be using shorts. Uh, if it's 14, you need to be using longs. If it's somewhere between 11 and 14, I would go with mediums and you're just gonna have a little bit more of the color showing. Uh, for middles, the shorts are eight millimeters, uh, the mediums are 10 millimeters, and the longs are 13 millimeters. And finally, for our pinkies, uh, the shorts are six millimeters, uh, the mediums are eight millimeters, and the length is, uh, and the long is 10 millimeters. So that's really uh, the difference in lengths. And so if, if you have a ruler just laying around, you can just really quick measure your, your options and say, oh, oh, well, you know that, that's really not that long. It, like, I thought my nails were really long. What's going to happen is that your design is going to end here or your clear is going to end here. And then you're just going to have color on the tip just like a French tip is supposed to be. So the process for applying uh, Jamboree French tips is precisely the same as applying any of our, of our nail shields. However, because they look so different, a lot of people are confused as to how they go on. So I just wanted to show you uh, one nail and then uh, get to the rest of it. Uh, like always, I've already cleaned my thumbnail. I've already trimmed the bases of these uh, flat. However, again, they are clear, so I probably didn't need to really do that. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today uh, that's a little different is I'm going to be holding the whole nail shield on my stick and that's so I can preserve as much of the center uh, as possible without having to guess at how long my thumbs are. Uh, sometimes when you guesstimate you trim too thin and uh, you don't have enough nail shield to actually cover the tips of, of your nails. Uh, the reason I actually try to save the middles of these as much as possible is because some of our uh, French tips come in colors on their tips that we can't get anywhere else. For example, uh, when I'm using my white tips uh, or my Uno Momo or my French tips with bows, I want to save that white part in the middle so that I can do accents later that have white in them. And uh, since we don't have just a white shield, that's the best way for me to get some extra Jamboree white. Uh, so I'm just going to hold this in front of the heater because I'm holding the whole shield. Now something that I was asked uh, last week that I'd actually never been asked was, well, can you reheat this shield? Absolutely. Uh, when I was first started doing this, I really didn't understand how it was supposed to work. So uh, I would do my, my manicures like this all the time where I was using the entire shield uh, and getting it heated. Okay, so as you saw, it goes on exactly like every other uh, Jamboree shield. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my orange stick attached down here while I make the trimming. That allows me to just stick it back down on the page and uh, I've cut as little off as possible in the process. So uh, just to reheat it a little bit and use my cuticle pusher to iron down the last little bubbles.
Okay, so um, there's a French tip. I was actually thinking about this the other day about um, how I had tried to do my own French tip designs um, about the time my daughter was born and how awful they came out looking and I'm really pleased with how that looks. So, uh, like I was saying, I'm, I'm much more pleased with being able to do a French tip this way than I have ever been trying to uh, replicate one in my own home. Uh, the other, I, I hear a couple of questions when it comes to ordering French tips and concerns of, of clients. And uh, one of them I hear is, what if I order the wrong size? You know, what if I order shorts and I'm a medium? Or what if I order shorts and I'm a long? Or what if I order longs and I'm a short? You know, uh, the, the nice thing is, is that Jamberry does have a 30-day money-back guarantee. You're going to get your nail shields well within that period. And, um, you know, as your consultant, I take every step I can to make sure you get the right size. So if you get the wrong size, you can automatically return that to Jamberry and they'll exchange it for the correct size. Uh, the other question I get asked is what if one of my fingers is a different length than the others? For example, um, what if I have one tiny nail and the rest of them are longs? Well, um, first of all, if you have one long nail and the other ones are short, all you're going to end up with is, you know, one nail that has a slightly longer uh, color showing than the others. Uh, what, because most of ours are clear, you can always move that up a little bit on your nail if you don't like how that looks. Uh, but, you know, most people are, are pleased with just having a little bit extra. Now, if one's shorter than the others, for example, take my pinkies. They both broke this week while I had on uh, shields, and I had to cl uh, clip them almost down to the quick. So what I did was I I took my scissors and I trimmed off approximately another you know, millimeter or two of shield at the bottom and put that right up against my cuticle so that I still have some pink showing. Uh, and I'm, I'm really pleased with how that turned out. So if you have one nail that's longer or shorter than the others, you could just adapt those shields to meet your needs. And uh, again, as, as your consultant, I come over and I help you uh, figure out how to do that if you're having any issues. So um, that's how our Jamberry French tips work. I did want to show you also the uh, excess that's left in the middle that's left over for, for doing accents or you know other designs uh, that I plan to get to doing at some point in the future, but uh, you know, I'm working on it. Uh, if you also are curious as to why this is French Tips video part one, that's because I'm planning on doing a completely custom French tip that has, you know, no ability to do them with our shields that are already available. Uh, and that way I can show you the proper way of doing that. However, I'm still working out the kinks on how to actually do that. So I'll get to that probably within the next month or so. Uh, for now, this is Jennifer Forbes of Forbes Fabulous Fingers signing off. Don't forget to subscribe for all of my Jamberry uh, advanced tips and tricks, and I'll see you next time.